Yoga studios are popping up everywhere, and now there's a winery offering a twist on traditional yoga by pairing it with wine. The gathering is called Detox Retox, and with a name like that, I had to join in. The breath is like a wave that comes up and then drops back down. We're feeling the chest rising up as we inhale and letting it come back down as we exhale. Hand on the belly stays relatively static. Jeff Levin has been practicing traditional yoga for years. Brendan Eliasson of Periscope Cellars has been making wine for years. Together, they came up with a concept that brings their passions for wine and yoga together in harmony. Taking place just outside Periscope's tasting room, Brendan does all the pouring. It's a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Barbera, Sangiovese, and Syrah. And educating. I think it kind of is the perfect introduction to the wine and yoga. So we'll take our wine glass. Jeff instructs the class on technique. We're going to exhale all the way when you're ready, and then we'll slowly inhale Ujjayi breathing style through the nose with our nose over the wine glass. We want to bring our full concentration and mindfulness to, to how the wine smells as we're really taking our time to take it in. Everyone ready? So exhale all the way. And wind up to the nose, slowly inhaling. It smells so good, I don't even want to taste it. That's the amazing part about really taking your time to inhale the wine through the nose. Let's do a little bit of yoga while we're doing a little bit of tasting. So with the taste of wine on our lips and the smell of wine in our noses, the yoga continues. We're going to do the boat pose, which is a little bit of balancing. So we're going to slide the hands underneath the thighs. This pose is very conducive to wine drinking as well. A few more poses, and it's time for another taste. And so it goes. A taste and some yoga. Another taste and more yoga. With two tastes down, the more experienced yogis start getting adventurous. <laughs> That's a wine spiller for me. If you want to make this more challenging, you can lift your other leg off the floor. <laughs> Jeff says he gets one of two reactions when it comes to detox retox. Yoga purists think it's more or less sacrilege. We can stay up high and have our taste. You can come down low and have your taste. And those less traditional, like this class, think it's just brilliant. This is the earliest wine we make, which I think kind of goes with the theme of kind of getting back in balance with nature and the world around you with the yoga. Now that we have three tastes and have completed an hour's worth of yoga, it's time for final relaxation. And for the last time, our glasses are filled. And we have, at the end of our practice, the last taste. It's my big blend. It's the six uh, most interesting varieties I have any given year, all blended together in the same wine. But the entire purpose of the wine is balance. Here you go. You're there. Ah, balance. Traditional yogi or not, some of us obviously have more balance than others. My mom would be so proud. <laughs>